your timeline needs to be at the base frame rate of the footage that you are editing. Otherwise, your final render will end up being stuttery as the frame timing gets rearranged or glitchy because it has to guess what the frame should look like if it had have been taken at the correct timing. If your timeline frame rate is wrong in DaVinci Resolve, you cannot change it. You have to make a new timeline with the correct settings and then copy your work from the incorrect timeline over to the new timeline to fix it. This can also mess up some things such as compound clips. So let's just get it right from the beginning. Select the clips that you are going to edit and jump over to the inspector tab. To determine the frame rates that you are working with. Then set your timeline to the base frame rate of the footage that you have. So for 150 and 25, you would want a 25 FPS timeline. For 30, 60 and 120, you would want a 30 FPS timeline. If you have footage that's at 24, 23.976 or 29.976, set it to that. I have linked videos in the description if you don't understand the differences between NTSC and PAL. Then make sure that your monitor frame rate matches the timeline frame rates or you will be converting frame rates as you edit, messing up your monitor playback. If you have a load of mixed up clips with varying frame rates, choose the most common as your timeline frame rate and then play with the retime and scaling settings for individual clips with incorrect timing to get the best results. I tend to find that optical flow at standard better does an acceptable job without being too intense for processing. You should also consider what you've just learned for adjusting the speed or basically frame rate timing of your clips. If you slow a clip down by 50%, you are effectively halving the frame rate of that clip. Aim for the result of your speed adjust to be multiples of your base frame rate for smooth playback and consider optical flow where this isn't possible. Finally, our render settings should default to match the timeline frame rate, but you should probably double check this. See you soon.